Hey guys, Jim Hoffman here for EMS Office Hours, and this is your Monday Minutes. Today, I am going to really show more some images here on the thorax and the chest, the thoracic region, and sort of help you sort of mentally visualize areas of the chest when you're doing your assessment. Um, and this is important for a lot of different reasons. When we're listening to lung sound, when we're thinking about landmarks, um, for procedures that we're doing, you know, uh, needle decompressions and things like that. So uh, this is the front end of the chest here. And, and, and again, it's important to know the structure of the thorax, right? One thing I'm going to mention when you look at the chest on this this angle here is the substernal notch, okay? And this is something that's fairly easy to feel on patients, okay? But the important thing about that is that right that right below that you get that sternal angle, right? Um, so when you have that 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 sternal angle, that angle of Louis, right, or Louis, that is where your second rib is going to be, okay? And this is that location, and this is going to help you when you're doing things again like the needle decompressions, right? Now, on top of that, you can also sort of visualize here the midsternal line, the, the midclavicular line, the axillary lines, and these are all important when you're doing your assessments, especially when you're listening to lung sounds. And an idea you can have as far as where the lung lobes are. So when you're describing this on your paperwork, you can actually say if there's a deficiency or, or some sort of an issue with that anatomical area during your assessment to go ahead and you can say that it's you know the, the right upper lobe or the right middle lobe and what area it, it, it is located at okay um, and this is going to help you with your paperwork and help you when you're describing things and it's not always necessarily when you're doing a trauma sort of uh, description it can also help you with medical uh, descriptions as well. So again, this Monday Minutes, I'm not going to go a lot into, uh, you know, uh, different uh, lung sounds and then what you're going to hear in different areas of, of the chest, things like that. But I want to sort of give you a little visual presentation here of some images and, and maybe uh, let you really get a good take home here of when you're visualizing a patient's chest, what you can look for and where it's located. Okay, and uh, hopefully this is going to help you a little bit when you when you're doing this. Now, of course, we have our ribs and the floating ribs and the false ribs and all that. I'm not going to get too much into that, um, but it, I think your main takeaway you want to look for here is your second rib uh, and your fifth rib as well. Okay, so let's uh, take another look here in a side view. So you can get a nice side view here of what you'd be looking at. And again, this is the side view is important too, again, for when you're assessing lung sounds and when you might be doing something like a needle decompression. You know, we hear a lot about that mid-axillary line, right? And this is the one thing I think of all these images when you need to really have that take home with thinking about that mid axillary mid axillary line even on the side here the mid cavicular line another word we hear a lot of when we're doing our assessments and we see it on exams right the angle of louis another one and the suprasternal notch as well all important terms to sort of you know really remember and have a visual idea of what you're looking at we hear a lot of it but again it's not necessarily something that we really have that firm understanding of if we don't see it a lot, right? Now let's look at the back part here as well. This is the posterior part of, of the thorax, giving you some more visual representations here. And think about this when you're listening to lung sounds and, and assessing the patients. Okay, so again, I'm not going to go too much into a lot of the different areas of assessment. I want to make this more of a visual presentation on this Monday Minutes, guys, and really let you get some idea as far as where the lungs sit 
inside the chest and where they are in relation to different rib areas, okay, and that can help lead you to uh, thinking about injuries to the to the lungs if certain areas of the chest might be damaged or certain rib ribs might be damaged where they might affect the lungs. And also, again, when you're describing and thinking about things like uh, needle decompression, you're thinking about that axillary line, the mid-axillary line, and your mid-clavicular lines, right? And again, the suprasternal notch and the angle of Louis as well. All important terms we hear a lot about, we document a lot about, we take exams a lot about these different terms. But it's important, I think, to really get a visual sort of uh, picture of it. So when you're looking at the patient in real life, you have an idea of where all these points are, are located. One more quick picture here of the, of the posterior area, a little bit of a cutaway. And think about this as well, guys, when you're listening to lungs on the patient's back, you're listening to lung sounds up over here, you're not really getting a great um, auscultation area here, right? You want to be in where the lungs are. And we're going to go over some more videos further on, some pinpoints and more actual lung uh, assessments but again this is more of just an anatomy type uh, Monday minutes here and just sort of giving you some reference points okay so that's it for this Monday minutes guys I hope you can have some sort of a takeaway on it and, and think about some of these landmarks that we mentioned and landmarks that again that you hear a lot about you take exams about them you have to reference them a lot of times um, but I think it's important to uh, have a little bit of a, of a focused takeaway and really understand where these points are. So feel free to watch this video again, guys. Pause it on those individual images so you can really get a uh, sort of those imaginary, uh, you know, landmark points in your mind till the next time you have a patient and you're assessing their lung sounds or thinking about where you might have to do something like a needle decompression you'll be much more familiar with it because the time to start thinking about that, guys, is not when you've got a patient who needs that needle, needle decompression, right? So that's what these Monday Minutes are about, to keep you ahead of that curve so when you get those patients, you're ready for it. If you have some minutes of your own, guys, be sure to send them over to me. It's jhoffman at ems-safety.com. Um, and be sure to leave your comments below in the notes here on YouTube or over on the blog at emsofficehours.com. And until next week, guys, as always, Jim Hoffman, stay safe.